guys! Today I'm going to be doing part one of my Korean cosmetics haul slash giveaway. Today's half of the haul is going to be from one Korean beauty website and the second half of the haul is going to be from a different Korean beauty website. I haven't gotten the stuff from the second Korean beauty website yet. That one is called Korean Depart, but today I'm going to be doing a Korean cosmetics haul slash giveaway preview using products that I received from the company of Beauty Net Korea. I will put a link to Beauty Net Korea down below in case you guys are interested in checking out any of these products. I really like this website. I figured I would break this up into two separate videos for two different reasons. One, like I mentioned, Korea Depart hasn't gotten me my stuff yet. Their shipping is taking way longer. And two, I figured that this way I could review both Korean websites for you and that way you could see which one you would like to order from, you know, the pros and cons in case you do want to order some of these cosmetics. I am going to be doing a nice little Korean cosmetics giveaway for you guys as part of this haul, but I'm just going to do a sneak peek of the products that I'm giving away from my Beauty Net Korea haul. And at the end of my Korean haul part two, the items from Korea Depart, I will actually announce the entire giveaway, how you enter, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to make a third video where I announce the winner and I review a lot of the products from my haul because I haven't tried any of them yet and this will give me a chance to try out the products and you also have a chance to win some really cool stuff so hopefully you guys are interested in stuff like this I've been hauling a lot lately I actually have another haul from Ulta and online shopping coming up soon if it's not up already I just went a little bit crazy in the month of March April, I'm really honing it in, gotta be good, but I figured I would share these with you because I personally love watching videos like this, and hey, who doesn't love a giveaway? I've got <laughs> these two boxes from Beauty Net Korea, and if you are wondering why I would be interested in Korean cosmetics, they have a lot of really great cosmetics. They have a lot of really great innovative ideas as well. They have stuff that we just don't have here in the States, so don't be too scared to order from overseas. Korean cosmetics and skincare are known for being very, very good. A lot of other countries either order American cosmetics or Korean cosmetics because we really do set a good standard for cosmetics. I'm really excited to jump in this haul today. I'm sorry that it's in two parts for you, but it probably would have been way too long anyway. So I figure I would haul the stuff first and then discuss the website with you guys and their service, how fast everything ships, so on and so forth. And the first thing that I am opening up here, it's packaged really well, it's wrapped in plastic wrap and then got a sample of the Tony Moly Banana Hand Milk and a sample of the Tony Moly Prestige Jeju Snail Cream. Then the main item in this box is probably the thing that I was most excited about for this order. I'm gonna do a first impressions on it for you guys. This is a Etude House Tint My Brows Gel. So I don't know if you've seen on Facebook those like jelly lip tints where you like coat your lips with like the jelly and like leave it on for 10 minutes and then it peels off and your lips are stained. This is that for your eyebrows. And I hate doing my brows. They're the least favorite part of my beauty routine and if I'm gonna skip something, it's gonna be my brows like I did today. And this, I believe, just stains your brows for I think a couple of days. I'm not exactly sure, so I'm gonna do a first impressions where I actually put it on, take it off, show you the result, and then I'll probably wait a couple days before I post it and take pictures every day so you can see how long it lasts. I'm really excited to try this. On to the next box. This box is considerably larger. It's packaged super securely. We got bubble wrap and everything is just kind of packed in here nicely so it won't jostle around. First thing I got is this My Beauty Tool Lovely Eddie hairband. And I'm just gonna open it so you can see what it looks like. It's a headband with cat ears on it. I do a lot of foundation reviews on my channel, get ready with me, so I just thought this would be kind of cute to wear when I did that. They sent me a lot of samples. I'm not gonna go through all of these samples because they sent me a lot of them. A lot of hand creams, cleansers, pretty much a lot of tiny little Tony Moly samples. I love the brand Tony Moly. If you like Tony Moly, I highly suggest 
saving up, placing an order on one of these Korean websites and picking one where the shipping is free or not very expensive because Tony Moly products, the prices are jacked up if you buy them in the States. A lip balm that I can get on a Korean website for $3 costs 10 to $15 in Ulta. It's ridiculous. So if you are interested in that brand, definitely check it out on the Korean websites. A lot of them have deals where if you spend so much money, you get free shipping, which is really nice. Other ones, you have to be careful because the shipping can be quite expensive. So I got this Secret Pure Steam Hair Mask. It says it's a steam hair mask with Vita and protein hair treatment and warmth of salon steam care effect improves damaged hair by providing it with rich nourishment. It's like an actual thing that you put on your head. This thing pictured here is in the bag. So I'm really excited to try that. I think that's a really interesting premise and I've never seen anything like that in the States. I also got one of these jelly lip tints, much like the ones that I've been seeing all over Facebook and Instagram lately. I will probably do a first impression of this as well if you guys are interested, if it's really worth the hype. A lot of liquid lip tints kind of stain the insides of my lips more than the outside and it just looks bad, like it clings to my dry patches. So I'm wondering if this is gonna do the same thing. I actually got a couple of these between this website and the other one and they might just be in the giveaway. I got some black head out charcoal nose strips. They're just these strips that you put on here and it helps clear out those pores. They have like a lot of blackhead oriented skincare in Korea. I wonder if that's like a major thing that they have a problem with over there. Ordered a bunch of sample packs of this Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream in the shade number 23. Most Korean BB creams only come in like two to three shades at best. I got the darkest shade even though I'm really not that tan because they can be pretty pale. I ordered a Care Nell Special Lip Care Lip Sleeping Mask. I suffer from really dry lips, so I will let you guys know how that works out. I got a lot of face sheet masks. I really love these. They're just fun to do. My skin always feels really nourished afterwards, and they all do different things, you know, depending on the mask that you get. So this one is a brightening mask, and this one is a lifting mask. I am turning 27 this year and I'm definitely seeing more wrinkles on my face than I used to. It's kind of stressing me out, so I'm working on it. I got this little mask mixing kit because two of my favorite masks need to be mixed with either apple cider vinegar or water and it's just like a little plastic bowl I can keep upstairs with like little measuring spoons and a spatula and like a little brush, the brush looks like not that good, but this kit was like $2, so I think it's worth it. I got a foot peeling mask. I've seen a couple people talk about these. It says that it's a seven day miracle, a simple one step foot peeling pack for smoothening, smoothening, is that a word? I don't think that's a word. Smoothening dead skin cells on coarse and chapped feet, but that's what it says, it says smoothening. Like these are these weird socks that you put on your feet, leave them on an hour and a half, and then gently wash your feet with water. After a few days, your feet peel, the dead skin just kind of comes off. And then to go with it, I got a baby silky foot mask sheet that's supposed to really moisturize your feet. So I figured I would do this. And then after the seven days, I would do this to kind of help keep them soft. So these are a couple of finishing powders from the brand Sea Tree. So Sea Tree Cosmetics, I guess, is a Korean brand that utilizes art in their products. And actually buy the product and pick the artwork on the case. These are nice, they're metal. I liked both of these tens. I thought that they were both super cute. I really love this one. This one is a luminous shimmer powder and this one is a UV cut powder. So this has SPF in it, SPF 28, which is pretty random. And the luminous one doesn't have any SPF in it. So I'm gonna try to carefully open this. They come with like a poof and it's sealed. This one is colored, the UV one. I might have to be really careful when applying that. It did kind of disappear into nothing and it will definitely work for me when I'm pale, but I have fake tan on right now, so 
We'll have to see how that works out. One thing that I really like about this is once this powder runs out, this is removable, like the sifter, you can remove, and then I can replace it with, you know, my RCMA powder, whose packaging I kind of loathe because I have to dump it into something to use it. So yeah, I'm actually really excited. Even if this is total and utter crap, which I'm sure it's not, I can actually put a powder that I really like in it. So the luminous one is kind of pinky. Let's see how luminous it is. Got some sparkle to it. I don't think it's gonna come off on camera. It's really subtle, but it's not like a highlight at all. It's just got like little specks of glitter in it. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you guys know in my review video. Okay, I've only got a few more products left in here. Got one other product from Sea Tree Art and this is their quick styling BB cream in the shade number 23, Natural Beige. And the packaging is really cute. There's just a little bit on the back of my hand here. And blending it out, it actually doesn't look like it's gonna be too light for me. Let you guys know how this does. It doesn't look as dewy as a lot of Korean BB creams are. That smells nice. Mmm. A lot of Korean brands like a luminous finish, so. I like that this one doesn't necessarily look luminous. I will definitely try it out and let you know. I got a couple more of the Tony Moly Magic Lip Tint Delights. I really love these. Got the green one and I got the pink one. And what you do is you put them on your lips and they change colors. So it's not gonna come off green or this like light pink on your lips. They're going to change once they're on your body. I did haul one of these in my last Korean Cosmetics haul. And I loved it so much I even put it in a favorites video. It just gives you the most beautiful wash of pink and it just looks so good on the lips. So I got a couple more. I ordered a Etude House Precious Mineral BB Cream Cover and Bright Fit. And this is in the shade Honey Beige. It is SPF 30. Nice packaging. It's sealed, so that's nice. Open. Not like seriously though, open. Okay. I'll just put a little bit on my hand here. This one's definitely a more luminous finish, but it looks nice on the skin. I actually kind of like the texture of this one more than the um, Sea Tree one. I got a Peri Para Peri's Cushion Lips in the shade 22 Day, and it's their orange shade. I really like orange lips. Granted, I haven't had like a neon orange lip. Squeeze it and pump the cushion. Oh, that's orange. That is orange. I actually really like that color, but it is very orange. It smells really good, which I wasn't expecting, but it smells hella delicious. Not like oranges or anything, just good. I don't know, but the smell disappears pretty quickly. And these are supposed to be really good to provide the ombre effect. The trend in Korean cosmetics is you have the dark color towards the center of your lips and you just kind of brush it out so it's lighter on the edges. That is supposed to be a more younger look. And if you fully line your lips, that's supposed to be a more mature look. So personally, I usually fill my lips in completely. I haven't tried the kind of like ombre lips thing. I don't think they call it ombre. I can't remember the word that they use, but it's not a look that I've normally gone for. I will give it a try with this, and if not, I'll just fill them in completely, but we'll see how crazy orange this looks on my lips. But I really love orange in the spring and summertime. I just think it's a really good color, and it actually complements my skin tone, which is surprising. It's probably why I got another orange Petite Gloss Bunny Bar and a pinky Petite Gloss bunny bar. I got these shades seven and four. These are from Tony Moly. They're adorable. Like, let's just say that. I love them. They are so cute. And that is the end of my BeautyNet Korea haul. As for the service, BeautyNet Korea has a very good website. Everything is laid out very well. I felt comfortable shopping there. They had English translations for what the products did, how you use them. Everything was really reasonably priced. A lot of more of the affordable Korean cosmetics brands on BeautyNet Korea, when I wanted like a more high-end item, I really didn't find as many on BeautyNet Korea as I did on Korea Depart. So I'd have to say that they have less variety of things, but the prices are good. They're maybe like a dollar or two more an item than 
Korea D part, but shipping was so much faster. Heating at Korea shipped my stuff out within two days. I placed my order on March the 6th. It shipped out March the 7th. Just received my items on Saturday, and that was March the 26th. So it took me approximately 20 days from the time that I placed my order for it to get to me in Florida. That is very typical when ordering from Korean websites. It usually takes about this long or longer to get your stuff. Korean cosmetics prices are way better when you buy them from Korean websites or even on Amazon. There are a lot of these items on Amazon. BeautyNet Korea actually sells some of their stuff on Amazon. The shipping is still the same. It still takes approximately three to four weeks for you to get your stuff. If you order Korean cosmetics and they ship from Korea, you can track it up until the point where it leaves Korea. But once it goes to like the US Postal Service, it doesn't have like a tracking number anymore. Like you can't find it. You can't have like the little tracker that says, oh, it was here on this day. No, so I was like, nervously waiting. I hope my stuff gets here today. I hope it gets here at all. And it did. So that I'm pleased with. But if you're one of those people that needs to know where your shit is and when it's getting to you, this might stress you out. There are a lot of other Korean websites that you can order stuff off of. Memebox is a Korean website that I know that they have a warehouse like in the United States so you can get your stuff faster with a tracking number, but they have a lot less variety and their prices are considerably higher. So it really just depends on how much you're willing to spend, if you're like a give it to me now kind of person or if you're willing to wait and how much variety you like. So my shipping was free through BeautyNet Korea. I'm not sure how much you had to spend in order to get free shipping. It's usually pretty Pretty high it's usually like 75 to 100 dollars on these Korean websites for you to get free shipping but that is because shipping is hella expensive I find that if you are gonna order from a Korean website you probably want to save up pick out a decent amount of items that you want to try and just order them all at once so you can get that free shipping but not every website offers a free shipping like I had to pay $20 for shipping from uh, Korea Depart so <clears throat> so far I'm preferring Beauty Net Korea just because I got my package so much faster because they were on the ball and shipped it out faster shipping was free everything was packaged really nice and typically when I'm gonna buy Korean cosmetics I don't normally go for like the really expensive ones just because I don't know if they're gonna work for me. I feel more comfortable buying the more affordable items and if it doesn't work, I'm like, eh, it was $4 as opposed to $30. I would 100% recommend Beauty Net Korea if you are interested in trying out some awesome Korean cosmetics. As for my little giveaway preview, I am going to show you what out of this haul that I'm going to be giving away to you guys. And it's going to include one of those cute little My Beauty Tool Eddie hair bands, the one with the cat ears, a Gung Solution Doctor's Lifting Mask, a Gung Solutions Doctor's Brightening Mask. Gung is a really weird sounding word, by the way. I'm guessing it's someone's name or like the company name. I don't know. Two Blackhead Out Nose Strips. A Tony Moly Magic Lip Tint Delight in Green Apple. This will change into like a light pink color on the lips. It's not gonna be green, I promise, don't worry. A Tony Moly Tony Tint Delight, which will be this pretty kind of reddish shade on the lips. I have the orange version of this, and I actually really, really like it. it kind of has like a really yummy smell and taste to it and it does stain your lips well. Just make sure you exfoliate first. A couple of these Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream samples in the shade number 23. And I will also include like a couple random samples as well. This is only half of the giveaway. I will be giving away a decent amount more from my Korea Depart order once it gets here. I will do giveaway instructions in the next haul video, so definitely if you are not already subscribe to my channel so you get notified when part two of this haul comes out and then you will not miss it because that would be super sad. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you like videos like this, if you like hauls, if you're interested in Korean cosmetics, if you are excited about the giveaway. I'm sorry that I can't like start it now because I don't have everything yet and I really want it to be like nice decent giveaway. So just be patient, subscribe so you get notified. If you did like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, more videos every week. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, just Beauty Obsessed RN. You can also follow me on Snapchat at AMH730. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right, bye guys.
When girls take selfies for Instagram, they be like... But when they Snapchat their friends, they be like... Ah. Don't deny it. We all do it.